This is one of my favourites. It's called Oops and it's by Colin McNaughton. It's got lots of mixed up fairy tales in here. Oops by Colin McNaughton. It was the same old story. Mr Wolf was hungry. Mr Wolf was very hungry and Mr Wolf had his eye on Preston Pig. Mr. Wolf was hungry for three good reasons. One, Mr. Plump, the shopkeeper, had banned him from his shop for eating the customers. Two, Mr. Plump, the park keeper, had banned him from the park for picnicking on the visitors. Three, Miss Thump, the school teacher, had banned him from the school grounds for snacking on the students. Don't look at me like that, I'm the big bad wolf! It's my job to be nasty. These stories would be pretty boring if I was good, wouldn't they? Suddenly, there was a huge crash. Oops, said Preston. You clumsy great pudding, said Preston's mum. Get out from under my feet and take that basket of food to your grannies. She's not well. Yes, Mum, said Preston, and tell Granny I'll be over later to chop for some wood, said Preston's dad. Yes, Dad, said Preston, and put your coat on, said Preston's Mum. Yes, Mum, said Preston, and don't slam the door, said Preston's dad. The chimney pot is loose. Slam, went the door. Oops, went Preston. Hmm. Red Hood, Basket of Food, Granny's House. That reminds me of a story. But which one? Said Mr Wolf just before the chimney pot landed on his head. Mr Wolf picked himself up and followed Preston to take a shortcut through the woods and get ahead of him. But Mr Wolf did not like the woods. Woods were full of nasty, itchy, scratchy, bitey things. I wish I could think of which story that red hood reminds me of, said Mr Wolf crossly as he pulled thorns out of his bottom. I know it isn't the three little pigs, said Mr Wolf, but I do like that story, especially the bit where the wolf eats the three little pigs and escape. Well, that's how my mum used to tell it. I'll huff and I'll puff. And I'll blow your house down. Mr Wolf tried some cunning wolf tricks to catch Preston, but he didn't have much luck. Cunning wolf trick number one, the old banana skin ploy. What a silly place to leave a banana skin. Someone might have slipped on it. Oh, what a pretty butterfly. Cunning wolf trick number two, the old dig a deep pit dodge. Cunning wolf trick number three, if all else fails, bash him on the head with a big stick plan. Preston reached Granny's house safely. Mr Wolf was fed up. He was hot and sticky, scratch stung and bitten, and I still can't remember that rotten story, said Mr Wolf. Suddenly, there was a huge crash. Oops, said Preston. Mr Wolf sneaked up to the window and this is what he heard. What big eyes you've got, Granny, said Preston. All the better to see you smash my teapot, said Granny. What big ears you've got, Granny, said Preston. All the better to hear you smash my cups, said Granny. What big teeth you've got, Granny, said Preston. All the better to gnash when you smash my sugar bowl, said Granny. Hey, cried Mr Wolf, those are my lines. I remember that story, now it's Little Red Riding Hood. Mr Wolf leapt through the window, tied Granny up and stuffed Preston in a sack. Now let me think, said Mr Wolf, how does that story end? He was just opening the door when he remembered. Oops, said Mr Wolf. And 
because they all lived happily ever after. The end. Funny how Preston's clumsiness saved him in the end. <laughs>